Hello, welcome to Just One More Story Farm. My name is Yannick and today we're going to be talking about how to reduce hay waste when it comes to goats. <laughs> Farm, a wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show you. Yeah, welcome to our show. Whoa. Just one more story farm. So I have two goats on our farm here, and their names are Fancy Nancy and Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia is this one right here with the white moon spots. Fancy Nancy here is her twin sister, and she does not have moon spots. <laughs> Might be a little easier to tell, but Amelia Bedelia has a purple collar. Fancy Nancy has a pink collar. They are two-year-old Nigerian dwarf goats and they eat a lot of hay. Every day they're eating hay. We would use a small milk crate when they were smaller. We got them at eight weeks old and that worked pretty well in the beginning, but the more hay that they ate, the more hay would spill out and over. So we were losing a lot of hay. As they got bigger, we needed to give them more hay every day. So we needed a better solution than the milk crate. And so I was using a large hay trough that was actually made for horses and the hay just kept spilling out of it they were losing so much there was hay everywhere I reached out to their breeder where I got the goats from and she had recommended that I use a horse hay bag and to get the ones that have the smaller openings because goats are able to get to the hay and pull the hay out of the small openings but it helps eliminate the waste so this is actually working out really well we still do lose some hay uh, but it's minimal compared to what we were losing before with using the larger hay trough for horses I do fill this up I try to fit as much of a bale of hay into this bag because these two goats go through about a bale of hay a week and so I try to get stuff as much as I can to get them through the week with this so I'm going to show you how I fill it up I do keep hay in the hay loft right above here nice and close to where I hang my hay bag I will transfer the hay into this hay bag I'll show you how I do that then they'll be all set for almost a week for hay so let's get started First, I unhook the carabiner that is holding the hay bag to the wooden post across the top. So once it's unhooked, I pull the hay bag down. So once that's down, I set that aside and then I get my hay bale. Okay, so I prefer to keep the strings intact while I fill this. Personally, I just think it keeps the hay together better while I'm trying to get this bag around it. So I just open up this opening as much as I can. I drape it over. Shimmy it on down. Once it's as far down on all sides as you can get it, you want to flip it. So as you can see, the top of it comes to about a flake and a half from the top. I'm going to cut these strings and I'm going to remove the top flake and see if I can get the string to close at the top. If it doesn't close, then we'll have to take out another flake. So I'm just, I'm just cutting the hay twine. Make sure that you are removing the hay twine. You don't want your goat to eat that. I personally like to save the twine because I do use it around the farm. I do save a bunch of these in my garage so that I have them at the ready for what I need some string or rope for a particular project. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, we're gonna have to take out one more. So we're removing two flakes from this one. But every bale is different. Sometimes they're a little bit shorter and I can fit that whole bale all in there. And other times it's just really long and I have to take out three or four. So in this case, I took out two. Now I'm going to close up the top. Now it doesn't have to be completely closed. This still has a circle here. That's totally fine. It's got enough string that I can hang it up. So that should be sufficient. Okay, so I just wrapped it around the beam on top and I used that carabiner just to quickly clip it to itself so that it's held up there. So now it's suspended so the goats can just come on in and they can nibble their way through and work their way through eating this bale of hay. Let's see if they like it. What do you think? They are tall enough to access the hay from the bottom. So that's it. That's how you keep goats from wasting a lot of hay. They're still going to waste some hay because that's what goats do. They pick what they want to eat, they drop what they don't want to eat, and once it's on the floor, forget it. They're not going to touch it again. They're going to use that for bedding. So if you liked this video, please hit the like button down below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. We'll be continuing to make more farm videos to help you get started with your farm. Or if you already have a farm, I'm great. I'd love to help you some more with your farm. <laughs> Liking and subscribing, that really helps our channel. It really helps support us. So we do really appreciate you taking the time to do so. Have a great day. Bye. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now you're learning to farm like me. There is so much more to see. If you're planning on heading elsewhere, burger you we yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is the place to be. Wow.